At 80 years young, Jerry Kramer is surrounded by his past and the present. It's just been such a wonderful ride. But Kramer says he distinctly remembers how and where his story began more than half a century ago. I did have a little dream that I would embarrassed to tell anybody about, about possibly playing professional football. But I wouldn't subject myself to ridicule from my teammates by mentioning it even. That far off dream though evolved into a career, a successful one. Life has been that way. It's just been a ongoing surprise. Kramer's 11 seasons as an offensive lineman with the Green Bay Packers. Super Bowl one. Part of an unforgettable era in football. I remember certain games and certain moments uh, with great clarity. During his tenure, Kramer and the Packers won five championships in seven years. He says his final season was the most memorable when Green Bay won Super Bowl II. And it was Coach Lombardi's last game and it was the Ice Bowl drive and it was our last championship and it was our third in a row. So that's all those things put together make it more meaningful to me than the other rings. This ring is one of two that Jerry won. I let young kids try it on every once in a while. It's a jaw dropper. But it's now the only one he has left. Earlier this month, Kramer auctioned off his Super Bowl I ring, that and several other pieces of Packer history. I've got more stuff around the house than I know what to do with yet. And in the garage. I'm not a hoarder, but I'm borderline. <laughs> he says the value of his stuff still surprises him. It's kind of confusing, really. I mean, you look at a, a, f a football shoe, mm -hmm. just one. You don't get a pair. You just get the kicking shoe, and they spend $16,000 for it. But there are a few items that Kramer will never give up, like the Super Bowl II ring, the things that simply mean the most. My mom's loving cup as the best girl athlete in Jordan High School. In 1928, this one is not for sale. Uh, five million bucks? No. At 80 years old, Kramer may be surrounded by his past, but he's using it to look to the future. Let's see your football stance. The former Packer says all of the money he made from the auction will stay with his grandson Charlie and the rest of the family. I think uh, to establish a fund to help some of the grandchildren, nieces, nephews, whoever it might be, to get to college is one way for the whole family to uh, grow a little bit, and uh, that's my dream. Today, there's some new memorabilia scattered around the Kramer household. This broken? Yeah. And Jerry, a lifelong packer, now has other loyalties. Where's the truck? What's the truck over here? He's Charlie's biggest fan. Are you a Packers fan? Even if Charlie no. isn't his. <laughs> <laughs> The blue in Kramer's eyes is as bright as it was more than 50 years ago. He hopes that legacy will help make an even brighter future for those in his family just beginning their journeys. Here's a guy who's just starting out, and the world is changing so rapidly, and I wonder what he'll see, what he'll go through. Denny Hawkins. He'll have a hell of a ride, I'll bet you on that. KBOI 2 News.